Welcome to the Maxident training module. To open the Maxident program, you must select this tooth. That will open this program here, and you can select your date. Let's start. Maxident utilizes two windows. One is this main window that opens up first, which you can search for patients here. And the other is the appointments tab, which shows you all of your schedule for the day, week, month, and year. Each provider will have a column in the schedule. Each column should be blocked out for closed time and this should be your open time which is currently empty but you're able to schedule within this time. Any blocked out time, you will not be able to schedule your appointments. I like to keep these windows side by side so that you can utilize both windows without having to go back and forth. To find a patient, you go to the main window. Select find patient. Here, you would enter the last name of the patient and it will bring a drop down of all the patients with that last name. You can then select what patient you require by the first name. These columns can be also organized according to alphabetical when you select the top of the column. Once you've selected a patient, that brings you to the patient profile. Here is what is called the patient ledger. You will see all the outstanding amounts in the color red and all paid invoices in the color black. This area can be broken down between family balance and single patient balance. I'm going to select the single patient balance and we can see Mr. Billy White has no outstanding invoices. However, the family does. You can access another family's ledger by going into this box here, which shows the entire family and double clicking on them. That will change then the name here. All the contact information will be here. And if we select family balance, we'll see that there was a bill, but it has been paid. It's important to know who, what is outstanding and the amounts outstanding to what patient. Sometimes they'll be in one patient profile, children who pay for their own bills. It's important that you're able to verify whose bill belongs to who so that you don't allocate a payment to the wrong patient. Once you've selected the patient that you need to schedule, you can go to the scheduler and double click. That should open up the last patient you were working on. If it did not open the last patient you're working on or the patient you require, you can look up the patient from here, enter the name, it'll bring you the drop box and you can select the patient that you want to enter into the chair. Now it's important that you select the right provider. If this is a hygiene patient, it should be in the hygiene appointment schedule. If it's a dentist appointment, it should be in the doctor's schedule. Depending on each office, you may have a side column for a doctor for any specific exams, quick checkups, and things like that. Once you've selected the right provider and the chair, we want to select the category of appointment. So if Miss Linda White called and said she had broken a tooth, then this would be called a specific exam. I would then pick the diagnostic because it is a diagnostic examination appointment. I would enter the reason for the appointment. In this case, this patient broke upper tooth. Second from back. This scheduler can be scheduled 
or set up for every 10 minutes on the calendar or every 15 minutes. We have every 15 minutes. So two units equals 30 minutes. That's the amount of time that I'm going to be scheduling for Miss White to see the dentist because she broke a tooth. She'll then appear in the column in which I selected. From there, we can open or right click and you will find this quick drop down menu. You can switch to patient ledger by double clicking this and it'll change this it back into Miss Linda White's column and then you can enter any codes or any information. Let's say she's changed her home address. If she's changed her home address, you can change it from here by the edit button. If there's any personal or administrative information that we need to know, for instance, this patient is a student. Students are usually covered up to the age of 21. And it's important that you enter that information when you're submitting to insurance. Once your patient is scheduled in, sees the doctor, they will be coming back up to you for the billing. You can bill the patient from this drop down menu, bill patient in Maxident, or you can go from this ledger and bill directly in the treatment ticket tab. The treatment ticket tab will have three options. One is a billing, so any treatment that's rendered on the day, any treatment estimate that you need to give an estimate to the patient, but you don't have to submit it to the insurance company, and the treatment plan or pre-authorization that we need to send the estimate to the insurance company. Today, we're going to be billing the patient. So, doctor saw the patient for a specific exam. All the codes are in the fee guides. A lot of times the doctor will give you a fee guide, excuse me, will give you the codes for the day, but you should know your codes and understand